So motherfuckers Drew's back with some more god damn metal for your asses and I got some goodies here dudes couple of vinyls two technically three albums here um, EPs at least has three EPs but they're all on fucking wax and man got some cool shit here man again the fucking stack of new shit is just piling up over there fucking always welcoming more goddamn metal and you know how we do it over here none of that fucking poser shit dudes we do true blue badass fucking either raw or old school or old school and raw whatever the fuck but it's true blue fucking metal we're gonna kick this bitch off already right here with the first one and that is obescence you know them you fucking love them probably if you don't love them you've definitely heard me talk about how much i love them that's obescence unholy profanation them boys from el paso texas again this is their seven inch released in 2013 and check out this beautiful this is my favorite color by the way it's beautiful green i'm telling you man the camera just don't do it justice man this thing fucking like has like that fucking luke skywalker return of the jedi lightsaber green glow to it man it's fucking fucking incredible but anyways yeah i covered the bringers of unholy profanation compilation a little while back a few videos or so ago and this was released that or that was released two years after this thing came out in 2013 and uh, i was actually i found i came across this and ended up getting it because i was looking for an obescence patch trying to see if there was one on the internet and then it came up over at warhemic records that i could grab this and a patch all in all for like 15 bucks so that was an easy call and they actually not only sent me an obescence patch see some of the details on the green it's 666 up there pretty nice right they sent me two of these fucking things so i've already got one on the back of my battle jacket here fuck yeah big ass obescence patch anyways this fucking thing man uh badass four track EP uh, Beasts on Your Soul Feast kicks this EP off in classic obescent style. I mean, this thing doesn't like let down all in all, all the way through, man. Very gritty, raw, death rashy style with almost a like blackened crust edge to it, if that makes any sense. Just primitive, aggressive, and chaotic, man. Just kick ass metal all the fuck around. Track two is Possessed by Frost, which just blasts its way along and continues the full on obescence assault. Then follows with the awesome Snow Goats of the Apocalypse, which is fucking great. And then probably my favorite track on the album, Abomination of Abominations. All in all, this is exactly what I want in a 7-inch from a band like this, man. Just absolutely zero pussyfooting on this EP. All in all, four all-killer, no-filler tracks, just shy of the 10-minute mark. Pure, raw, aggression, fucking Texas style. El Paso, yeah. Fuck yeah. And if you can't get your hands on this thing, which they, it looks like they still had copies over at Warhammock Records, but if you can't get your hands on Unholy Profanation here, I would definitely recommend uh, checking out Bringers of Unholy Profanation, uh, Profanation that whole uh, compilation that I had already reviewed a few videos or so ago. It has all of these tracks and then some more they have some stuff that was released from their splits uh, and and the only reason i even said like i didn't own this and since i have bringers of unholy profanation i feel like i didn't need to own this the fact that i could get another obescence album uh, or ep excuse me because i'm assholes gonna say you had a full leak yeah i know i got it if i could at least get more obescence material have more on fucking wax which is always cool i have that other obescence split uh on seven inch but just getting more shit from the fucking band and then finally getting my hands on a goddamn obescence patch, man. Fucking cool to have. Unholy Profanation. Check that motherfucker out. Look at that artwork. Look at that shit. Metal as fuck. And man, oh man, oh man. I love getting my hands on some fucking vinyl that I've been wanting for a long goddamn time. And for those of you who are subscribed to the channel, you probably saw this because I shared it in a post or whatever the, whatever you call those fucking things. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm illiterate with social media shit, but it's basically a feature that YouTube offers. And you can like post a picture or leave like a, you know, say something to the people who are subscribed to you. So you know what's coming up next. And actually, you know what? I'm going to end up making this part of the thumbnail. So you'll know what the fuck I'm talking about. Folks, that is Sodom's In the Sign of Evil on fucking vinyl. God damn, man. Classic as fuck EP from the band back in 1985. Of course, the 12-inch vinyl. 
This is my personal favorite release from Sodom. Uh, that has kind of changed a little bit over time. Like, I would go back and forth, back and forth. But I would say it's safe to say this is my favorite release from the band in The Sign of Evil. That fucking classic-ass EP. But I also want to make sure that I'm very clear on this, because I know there are a lot of Sodom fans. I've talked about it before. A lot of guys that are in Sodom, especially the old-school guys, or the real cult, underground, tough guys, they're really into just... In the sign of evil, obsessed by cruelty, even like the fucking demos, you know, witchy metal demo and stuff like that. Those guys are like that or fucking nothing. Everything after obsessed by cruelty is bullshit. I am absolutely 110% not in that camp. Okay, I love, especially this, in the sign of evil is, like I say, it's probably my favorite release from the band. But I do not stop at in the sign of evil. I think persecution mania is fantastic. I own it. I think Agent Orange is fucking stellar, goddamn like thrash with a death or with a black metal edge to it, at least vocally. Uh, I own it. Agent Orange is fucking fantastic. Better Off Dead, I own it. A fucking classic. Tapping the Vein, I own it. I, all that shit. Uh, Get What You Deserve, I own it. All that stuff, uh, dude. I love fucking uh, Code Red. I absolutely love, love the M16 album. All that shit going on into the. Well, into the 2000s, I think is just quality shit. Now, does it sound like this? Does it have that sort of early, like, black metal edge to it? No. I do prefer this. I think this is just... It's it's almost like just a moment in time of the mid-1980s when all these genres were still kind of coming out. And this thing just has its place in the history of extreme metal. And just sounds fucking great. And not only does it just sound great... Like, I will take this all day, every day, twice on Sunday over Obsessed by Cruelty, which I think Obsessed by Cruelty is a big step down from this. Not production-wise, not style-wise, but in songwriting-wise. Dude, this thing does not falter at all. Sepulchral Voice, uh, Burst Command to War, Witching Metal, Outbreak of Evil, Blasphemer, everything on this is just like badass fucking song after badass fucking song. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not in the camp where it's either this or fucking nothing, and I don't like any of the newer Sodom. Like, some of the more recent Sodom stuff I'm not nearly as familiar with. Like, Genesis 19, uh, I believe is what it's called. And, like, the last couple of things, I know they're about to put out that 1982, or they, maybe at this point they already have. So the brand new stuff, I'm not as familiar with. But all the shit going up into the 2000s, that was the shit that got me into Sodom in the first place, and then kind of, I traced my way back. To in the sign of evil here and this thing is just fucking great dude you can hear the venom influences on this you can hear just like that early trying to figure out what exactly can we do with this crazy new style of music that is this extreme metal and does this qualify as black metal would you call it thrash i would say it's black metal in the same way like if venom is black metal then this is black metal and i understand by 80s standards Basically, anybody who was singing about Satan in an extreme metal style was considered black metal. It seems like black metal was basically like a blanket term of what we would now call extreme metal. So this definitely falls into that, dude. This is classic as fuck. And if you thought this was already bad enough, Drew, you fucking scored in the Sign of Evil on, on 12-inch vinyl. This isn't some badass OG pressing. This is some relatively new shit. Check this out. Watch this magic trick I do when I flip it over. It turns into Hellhammer's Apocalyptic Raids. That's the third album we're going to be reviewing here because this fucking LP contains both of those badass EPs on it, man. And, of course, Apocalyptic Raids. Another classic metal release from 1984, the year before in The Sign of Evil. And I'm actually going to open this thing up. So we got Sodom in The Sign of Evil, Hellhammer's Apocalyptic Raids, and when you open this fucker up, look at that. Look at that fucking Angel Ripper and fucking Tom G. Warrior right there in the middle of that motherfucker. Kind of makes me wonder why this thing doesn't get more discussion. How come How come I never heard that they even released this? How come I, I ain't seeing channels that covering this like all the fucking time? Anyway, Hellhammer's Apocalyptic Raids, also another fucking classic. Four tracks just shy of the 20 minute mark. And I have known about this EP for ages now. I've listened to it several times, never owned it, never even owned it on CD, cassette, or let alone vinyl here. Celtic Frost, to give you a little bit of history for me getting into extreme metal, Celtic Frost came on my radar very early on when I was getting into this type of music, but honestly I always just preferred other bands. Like I had heard um, Morbid Tales, 
I had heard Emperor's Return, I had heard to Megatherian, and I was just like, you know, it's, it's cool, but I was just way more into other shit. Uh, I never disliked them, but again, like other bands just got more of my attention. I was always way more interested in like Venom, listening to Welcome to Hell and Black Metal and like a bunch of the shit that came out on that world with Satan and Possessed and just like songs here or there scattered out on singles like Nightmare and Bursting Out. Uh, and then a little later after getting into Venom, uh, I was got real big into like Bathory and of course Sodom here. And, you know, I was just way more interested in shit like that. But Hellhammer I put in a similar category because I was not blown away by this whenever I came across it at first. But there's absolutely no denying the fucking impact and influence both early Celtic Frost and Hellhammer had on Extreme Metal Man. And this EP is fucking great. It is really goddamn good. Way more of a punkish vibe than the other bands that I've mentioned thus far, like Sodom, Bathory, and Venom. And it might explain why it didn't hit me as hard back in my early days of extreme metal listening, because once I really gave it a shot, like years later, and I was like, okay, hold on, because you keep hearing people mention Celtic Frost, people mentioning Hellhammer, and I'm like, man, I've heard it, I'm like, what am I missing? And going back and just listening to it again, and like, just years later, once I gave it like a full-on shot, like kind of what's this all about, like why is this so near and dear to so many like true heads hearts it's not like posers coming out being like bro this is the shit but it's like true like respectable guys in the metal just be like bro apocalyptic raids satanic rights man you gotta go listen to that shit and i'm like man i've listened to it what am i missing but going to listen to it again just years and years of just kind of like casually going back and like revisiting it solid raw kick-ass fucking classic extreme metal here man it is like the same way with sodom's in the sign of evil it is like a time capsule it's like a glimpse to the early days of extreme music where these subgenres were not really well defined and they weren't like set in stone. Like this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. These bands just kind of like took all those influences together. They had Sabbath, they had the punk influences from the 70s. They had all that shit coming out with like Venom, this over the top style. Like what can we do with this? And they just took it all and threw it all together and made their own original shit. That's why Hellhammer doesn't sound like Sodom. Sodom doesn't sound like Bathory. Bathory, I mean, for the most part, doesn't sound like fucking Venom. Venom, yeah, it's a new wave of British heavy metal, but dude, Venom definitely did their own thing with that sound, and that kicked the doors off the fucking hinges for how crazy and wild and outlandish can we go with this fucking music. But anyways, yeah, man. As for this little 2EP 12-inch here, I picked this up from a site that I've never even heard of before. It was called City Noise. And after going to Eastern Front Records and seeing Sodom's in the Sign of Evil like an OG pressing up on the wall on vinyl, I knew I just had to have this fucking thing on vinyl, man. And just going through and checking it out, just being like, man, maybe I can find some kind of a good deal or something. Maybe I can get me like a used copy for like 50 bucks or something. Guys, I found this on City Noise, and I was just looking for In the Sign of Evil, but of course it comes with Apocalyptic Grades by Hellhammer. Basically, it was brand new fucking mint condition. All this badass shit, 35 bucks. Brand fucking new. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. I like, clicked it, I'm like, where's the catch? Okay, is it gonna take like a year to get here? Motherfucker got here within a week. Just, I, I'm still like kind of flabbergasted. Like, I've come into the room since I've had this, and I have it propped up on my vinyl, and I'll come through and I just, I'll just like open the door and look. And be like, oh, I wasn't dreaming. I really do have fucking the sign of evil. Badass, fucking great shit, man. Uh, I love it. I, I've spun it. You know what? Let me show you. The vinyl isn't even straight black either. Might as well, since I'm kind of giving a little bit of a review on this thing. It's got this, yeah, it's like grayish. Of course, the colors aren't going to do it justice, but you see there's some coloration going on there. It almost looks like they fucking, uh, you know when you go to the bowling alley and they have like the balls that are already waiting there? It, it like has that kind of like tone to it like did they recycle a fucking bowling ball to make this fucking thing anyways fucking cool and I've, I've spun it I've listened to both apocalyptic raids and in the sign of evil on this vinyl it sounds fucking great I just keep waiting for the catch like uh, what's going on here we had 35 bucks for two classic EPs on vinyl like that sign me up Anyways, dudes, that does it for this one. Uh, more shit definitely on the way, man. Um, that track that I had put up, that Drusa Fiction, where it was uh, just me playing guitar, I had put out a call for anybody who wants to add vocals to it. Uh, you know, send it to me and share it. You know, I'll fucking review it. Some of it might be cool. It might be just like a, a fun thing to do. The Madman Morton Red hit me back up. 
he's putting vocals on that fucking thing. And I am just on the edge of my seat in anticipation. Even though it's just like a one minute long track, that's going to sound fucking badass, man. So anybody else wants to put fucking vocals to it? Now, I sent it to him through email. I know uh, a lot of people will have, will have ways to download anything off of YouTube. You can rip music from YouTube, rip videos from YouTube. But maybe I'll put it up somewhere and just try to like uh, put like a general, you know, where anybody can go through and like fucking download it without me having to email it to them or whatever. But yeah, that's going to be fucking badass. All kinds of new shit coming, man. I got constantly have albums fucking coming in. Cool to see new people here, man. Uh, I What I do on this channel, nine times out of ten, what I'm doing is reviewing shit that I pick up that I really like. Um, yeah, but if you have any recommendations for new shit, I love checking out new shit. I listen to it all the time. Constantly getting albums in here, constantly ordering them. Uh, this is just a fucking hobby of mine. I fucking love metal. I, and I'm trying to grow my collection after years of just kind of letting it stagnate and listening to shit but not buying it. I'm trying to remedy that. So any kind of comments questions I try to do every once in a while I want to do some more viewer response videos where I take some of your questions or whatever and get my thoughts on them I love doing that shit too but for the most part I, I review albums here and review them in bulk as they come in a lot of them are albums I've been listening to for years but anyways there's more metal to come till the next one keep it goddamn heavy keep it fucking mean and offensive because that is the way metal is supposed to be fuck posers fuck pussies later <laughs>